And I got to go home and tell everyone I ate Rudolph. Went to some nude beach and all kinds of crazy stuff. Never seen more attractive people in my life. Beautiful country. Guys. The Norwegians rule. They're so tall. Hi. Oslo? Yes. Uh, you've been, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. And my husband's mother's from Flam. Oh, I didn't yes. know that. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. Her family, yeah. How do you know? Can you see I the mean, difference from Sweden to Norwegian? Yes. You can. Whoa, did I say that too fast? No, but no, I mean, no. that's interesting. I mean, I can spot someone if yes, they're Swedish or Norwegian straight away. But After, Yes, 100% you can. Oh, wow. 100% yeah, I can. wouldn't know. It's like in Sweden, the one, like, because there's the stereotypical model thing that comes with Swedish women, so you can see a lot of women trying to, to paddle that They're model. Good posture. So Where are you from, Oslo? Yep. Did you never go? Been. You have been? I've never, never. been. Never. Curious to go to Scandinavia. Are you sure? I've never been to Scandinavia before. Yeah, it's yeah. great to go now. August is a really good month, actually. That's what I hear up yeah. in, uh, in the Scandinavian yeah. countries. How long have you been out here? I live in New York. I've been oh. there for 10 years. Oh, wow. So, do you miss, yeah. do you ever go home? Yeah, I go home twice a year, usually. <coughs> Summer, Christmas. Cool. Yeah. I've been to your lovely uh, country. I've been oh, to oh. Nor uh, Oslo. Uh, nice. And it was... <laughs> great so coffee, great coffee. So, I've never seen more attractive people in my life. That's what you say to the camera, to the uh, people. That's quiet. nice. Thank you for that compliment. No, Did you nice. just hit on an entire country <laughs> just now? <laughs> All, yeah, astonishingly. Men and women, no, apparently, no, just men. when I just I like to share myself. I'm straight, but the, I was very country. attracted oh, yeah. to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they're, and they're all enormous, like not fat, but like massively tall. This you can look it. a little Norwegian, though. You have hey the now. kind of features. Hey now. <laughs> Justine. Yeah. Oh, uh, Norway. Another country. Norway, have you been to Norway? No Norwegian and Swedish are yes. a little similar. Yes, we realized that last time. But not at all. <laughs> My brother is, lives in Sweden. Um, oh. But uh, uh, he, he's never been to Norway. But I've never been to Norway. I've never been to Norway either. Yeah. Guys. The Norwegians rule. They're so tall. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. And so are you. Are you in Oslo? Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I'm here now, but. No, yeah. I'm right. We're not in Oslo. You right guys, now. you know, Swedes, Swedes, Norwegians, they're like the last tall people on earth. You know, everyone is tiny now. And Dutch. Oh, the Dutch are pretty tall. Yeah. Yeah, but sure. everyone's small again. Oh. Anyways, anyway, you guys. <laughs> anyway, short people live longer than tall people, so anyway, let's go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you went to Norway like a long time so you ago. You right? points. You got points. I, went, I, I did a, uh, I, I worked as a gopher, one of my dad's pictures, the heroes of Telemark. I was in Rukan. And uh, anyway, I, and I met this girl, Kari, and I had a little thing with Kari. And every time I would do press and I had Norwegian, yeah. I would tell him about, you know, the thing, the story Kari. And one day the guy goes, so Mr. I says, yeah, I have... 14 letters from different Kari's who said, that was me, <laughs> who said, oh my gosh. <laughs> <She> said, <laughs> I'm mean, never forget. <gasps> oh, that's very nice. So I have to just ask you quickly about Norway, because you went there and it yeah. was a good trip, you said. What did you do when you were there? You were just there for like four or five days? <clears throat> we were shooting for four days on the fjords uh, for Alexander Payne's movie, which was really, really fun. And we decided it was our final day of shooting was on the fjords. We were going down on this boat and it was just like, this is easily the best final day of any film in the history of film. <laughs> like it was so unbelievably beautiful. And, uh, um, and then um, my kids and I took a boat up towards the North Pole, like into the, um, and, and, and saw some polar bears and stuff. You saw so polar we bears? did, yeah. Oh, we saw oh. a mom and her cub oh. um, through the binoculars and, <clears throat> and went along. Um, you know, it was just, which, and that was a really great, uh, obviously, experience. For the, but we were already in that part of the world, so we said, why not go for it? Obviously, you know, I want to get in as much as I can while I'm there. So I had reindeer and whale and all those things. And I got to go home and tell everyone I ate Rudolph. And, uh, <laughs> How did they react to that? Um, they are like, oh, cool. <laughs> you know, I don't think everybody was up for it. But I really liked the reindeer. And the, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Well, so it was okay. So you went around in Oslo a lot? Were you there for? Yeah, I was. It was just real short. And while I was there, it was uh, the hotel I was staying at. Bruce Springsteen was there, so everyone was going crazy. But um, I liked Oslo a lot. It's really pretty, super, really clean. But uh, like, I, I love the ocean. I love the water and nature. So like, to me, I'm like, on well, this place is a sportsman's paradise. So they take you out to the to the ocean as well? Yeah, we went out on the boat. We did some of the like the little fjords, you know, and cut in, and we had wow. dinner and. 
nice. It was nice. It was nice. So it's one of those it's one of those destinations, you know, when we do the press tour, like I always look to see if I get to go back and unfortunately it hasn't happened again yet. Norway's too small, but that's yeah. the problem, huh? Yeah, it's a problem. But that's what makes us. it so great too. Yeah. You know? I guess. One to go to Norway. Yeah, me too. Oh, you should go. Yeah, I've heard yeah. it's gorgeous. So. It's really nice. Especially like late summer, August. Yeah. It's a very good time to go. Can, are, are, the, are the mountains clear of snow in late summer? Can you walk in them then? Yes, you can. Yes, yeah, some have a little bit on the top, but you can really do great hiking in the nice. fall. You ready for this? Yes. <laughs> ja, vi elsker dette landet. Som det stiger frem før et verbit overvannet med det tusen krem. Elsker, elsker det og tenker på hva far og mor og den sagan Sagenat som senker drømmer på var jord og den sagenat som senker senker drømmer på var jord. This sounds like verse, or it it's a, it's a quotation from. Is it Shakespeare? No, it's a national a Norwegian national anthem. Oh Lord, I hope I haven't given offense. <laughs> no, it was great. Really? You read it? Yeah, it was really, really I great. I once went to Norway. I went you to did? Stavanger. Oh, that's to, nice. To to um to do some lecturing in the theater school there. Cool. Did you like it? Very much. Yeah. It was deepest, darkest winter. I thought it was wonderful. I loved it. You, you did. Have you been? I've been good. Oh. What was the last time for? The gambler. Yeah. I think. Yes. I was thinking about my my visit to Norway. Oh, did you go? Not since then, but I went when I was younger. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was. I did a concert there. Oh wow, that's in so the cool. In the summer, it was amazing. It was like twelve o'clock at night. We're outside playing basketball. My road manager pulls up. He's like, "What are you doing?" I said, "We're playing basketball." He's like, "The show was an hour and a half ago." I said, "Dude, it's still <laughs> light outside. What are you talking about?" He said, "It's twelve o'clock." I was like, "Whoa." That's great. Yeah, so did great. you get to see more of the country? Or you oh, yeah, I went to some nude beach and all kinds of crazy stuff. You went to the nude beach? Yeah, I didn't know it was a nude <laughs> beach. We just went to the beach and people were nude. I was like, whoa. But beautiful, beautiful country. I have to ask you one question about Harry Hulala, because you went to Norway. Yes. And did you have to learn any Norwegian, or how did you kind of get into his... I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't <laughs> learn any Norwegian. Unfortunately, I didn't. But I did learn how to ski on that job. And it was one of my favorite jobs. I loved working with Thomas and the whole the whole Norwegian crew. And I love being in Norway. It's a uh, yeah, really, really enjoyable time on there. Did you? What, what was your impression about on Norwegian people in general? Pretty laid back. I think what's very impressive about Norway is having discovered um, all that wealth in very recent years. Um, I think they have a very good balance and relationship to to money, and especially the way that they're investing now in um, in green fuels as opposed to fossil fuels, and it is fossil fuels that have put them in this position in terms of being such a wealthy country. But um, I think they're leading the way in terms of um, looking for other sources of energy, even though that, um, as I say, they've they've gained so much wealth because of the fossil fuels they've found. Did you like the food? Love, love the seafood. Lots of crayfish. Mm, that's nice. Mm. Or langoustines, yeah, lots of langoustines there. I can't say that in Norwegian, but I can say tusen takk. Oh, that is which Norwegian. Which is something. Yes. What does that mean? A thousand thanks, or thank yeah, you. Really yeah. can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My sister-in-law is Norwegian. The only other thing I can say is hut kommer snart. Does that make any sense? She, like she, I'll, it's when her mother calls, and I say, she's coming soon. Like oh, I yeah. get the. Hun kommer snart. Hun kommer snart. Uh, that, I've got to say, what you did sounds pretty similar to what you did. But then yet she was like, what? <laughs> That's basically all I've got. That's amazing. It's good though. <laughs> Literally like one day. Oh no. Wait, what was that? Yes, yeah, so you were only there for a day? Maybe two days. Yeah. So I was so jet lagged the entire time. So I went to, I went to Toronto and then came back again, and so I, was, I didn't even know where I was, to be honest. <laughs> Planning a trip to Norway, maybe, you said, or you wanted to go to, to Norway? Norway? Yeah. Oh, I would love to go to Norway. I, I've been invited by Liv Ullman, and I've been so busy the last couple of years, I have not been able to go, but I would love to go. I really would. I mean, it's a beautiful country that I'm anxious to see. Did she tell you anything exciting about Norway? 
No, she just said, well, I, I didn't need to be excited by anything I heard because I had seen pictures and talked to people. Um, just the fact that she wanted me to come was good enough. You know. <laughs> well, see, that, that, that looks like Norway, right? That looks like a Norwegian yeah, bottle. Sort of. It does. I think he's from Finland, probably. Yeah, probably. Hi, how are you? Oh, how are you are you Norwegian or are you? I'm Norwegian. Yes. From what's it? I'd love to go to Norway. Here's the flash. I know. I know. After Frozen, it's like the. Oh, really? A lot of Is that where it happens? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, I think so. I live in Montana part of the year, and there are many Norwegians. A lot of the Norwegians settled in, Nor in Montana. Drit good. Kuddled. Sar adefor. Hustai. Polurdag. Megabra as. Hukadera. That means, did you hook up? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> fuck boy. That's good. Okay, that means a guy that fucks around. <laughs> <laughs> a fuck boy. Are you coming back to Norway soon? I hope so. I loved it there. I mean, it's beautiful. It's just really breathtakingly beautiful. And there's nothing else in the world that looks like it. So, yeah, I hope I can go back. Norway is, is by, is, is, it, is it near Belgium? It's above. I don't know. It depends what near means. Okay. Is it Finland, Norway, and Sweden or something? Yeah, it's so what else? It's, 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 we're starting. We're going to do this on camera. Because we're not ready. No, I want to Okay. Please Boy. don't uh, don't do not do this to us. Not now. Don't press it. You are. So tell me what you know about Norway. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh -huh. Since you started off so good. Yeah, Norway we're, is a fantastic yeah. place. A lot of nice I people. know it's over uh, by Europe and France and all those countries. Uh, good. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, it's up higher, right? It is up there. A little higher. And is yeah. it Sweden, Norway, and Finland? Is that something? Yeah. You said that. You already know the WS right? on that, so you're going back to it. Now I got it on camera. Yes. Um, so that, and then there's Antarctica. Are you near that? Oh. No, Come she's on, not. That was your guess. Uh, you're from Norway, which is known for its sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, are we? <laughs> <laughs> you have a very dry sense of humor, I think. No, yes, very, one, of my, one of my dearest, dearest friends is Norwegian, and he's, oh, actually, really? he's actually one of the funniest people I know, but it's a very dry sense of humor. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that's nice. Did you meet him in, no, you did, did you go to Norway ever? No, 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 no. Um, he's married to a friend of mine, and so, and they met in Paris when they were both students, so now, now we all know each other, and we all live in Brooklyn. Yeah, but you got the blood in you. I tell you, I, I used to read a lot of the Viking sagas, and it was amazing. These men would go and fight, and but when they came back, they were terrified of their women. The women were the bosses. That I've feeling. I've heard that too. Yeah, I've heard that yeah. lately, that the women were actually really hardcore back yeah. then. Yeah, and in Iceland, yeah. in Iceland, the women are bigger personalities than the guys. Still. I've never been actually. Oh. By the way, I'm your neighbor. What do you mean? I think I looked out to your garden. Which one? Because I. Like, yeah. Wait, it, oh, oh, and, um, where oh, am I? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. so I know what you're up to all the time. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you have some good parties, though, I have to yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. Right. Sorry, yeah. By the way, have you seen that great series, Norwegian? It's no. called Occupied. Oh, yes. oh, Occupied. What is that? No, I don't it's know. It's a fantastic yeah. series yeah. where Russia gradually oh. starts invading Norway. Oh. You know I've what? actually started watching it, but I only it's watched brilliant. the first three, and it's really It's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. And, and Nobel is amazing. Do you know Nobel? Yes. Yeah. Yes, great film. Great I mean, great show. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen Thank Nobel. You. Yeah. Is yeah. so, <laughs> that on Netflix? So yeah, it's on Netflix. It's fantastic. Great. Incredible. Anyway, it. let's talk about us. <laughs> Where do you come from? I'm trying to Norway. Place the accent. From Norway, oh. okay. Are there Normans in Norway? That's actually the word for a Norwegian person in, in Norwegian. Is Norman. Norman. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Somehow, I can't imagine Norman, though, in, among the Norwegians. <laughs> yeah, the tall, blonde, kind of but I'm, taking I'm their own I'm space. But I'm curious, is there, is there, is there an, an equivalent to, to Norman in Norway? You never want to let him in. Well, when you're from Norway, you're naive, and you think everyone has good intentions all the time. So it takes a while to get used so to that. That's the sequel. Somehow send Norman to Norway. <laughs> to Norway. Norman goes to Norway. Scandinavia. It's, it could be, I can see a whole other level of possibilities. It's true. No one knows what to do with him. <laughs> and the opposite, I think they all invite him in. They love him. Okay. okay. Now, now a little uh, dirtier of a question. Yes. We've been asking countries uh, a slang word for penis. Mm -hmm. Does Norway have a separate word for the word penis? A separate slang word? Yeah. In fr um, French, it's a... Uh, it's, it's, uh, zub. Zub. 
and then in Belgium, Belgium it's Lom. Lom? Lom. Um, in Norway. Is, are you looking for something really dirty or something like Whatever you, you want, know? whatever you think. Uh, I don't think I can say. Oh, come on! <laughs> We're literally on the edge of our seats over here. We need you to say it. Uh, Tissevant. Tissevant. Oh, that was, that was so good. That was Tissevant. fantastic. That was fantastic. Yeah, that's what I call my dick all oh the time. my god, it sounds like a line of yeah. it sounds like a line of jewelry. But you knew how to say something in Swedish, which is the same in Norwegian. What did I say? Superbra? Yeah, yeah. superbra. Tack and yeah, no. I know, I know. I yeah. I haven't um spent I've spent been to Sweden a few times. I've been to Norway, I had a oh. great holiday. No, oh, that's yeah, great. Where yeah. did you go? Um um we were up the fjords and like you know Oh nice. And this amazing hotel and like going on boats every day, that was incredible. Hey, Kirsten. Hey, Hello. Norway! Yes, I love Norway! You do? I love it over there! Her you been there? Her yes, I am. Oh, that's Swedish though. I know. But very close. But yes. How would you say it in Norwegian? Budam uh, Oh, yeah. totally different. Hi there, thanks for watching my channel. If you like that video, maybe there's other videos you like here on my channel. So please subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you like. Be happy, be nice to people. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye!